Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to try and get the equations of graphs. Now when they give you the equations, the nicest thing they do is they tell you what is the graph's name. So you know that in this specific question, I am working with the sun graph. So all your information would be linked to sun. In order to get A, you take the maximum minus the minimum divided by 2, but within one period. Now one period means from a start to an end and you can see this graph it is passing the maximum minimum. The graph is going to be completed if it continues. So it's no problem we have enough information. So to get A I'm going to say the maximum minus the minimum which is minus 2 over 2 which is equal to 4 over 2 giving me 2. So my A is going to equal to 2. Now what does my B equal to? You know it's a sun graph. A sun graph says that my starting point should be on 0 and 0. I'm not interested in my Y. I'm only interested in my X. The sun graph starts at this point. It should have started at this point. So remember I'm only talking of my x-axis, right? It should have started at 0 degrees, it is starting at 60 degrees. So what happens is my b is going to equal to 60 degrees. Now if I change it, I write it sin x minus 60. Can you see that? And my a would be 2. But look at the answer. The answer is b is equal to 60. b is not equal to minus 60. Okay, so B is equal to 60 and the equation becomes 2 sin A, open brackets, X minus 60. There's a big difference between what is the value of B and when I substitute it into the equation. Let's take a look at another example. Now, let us look at this graph. They're specifically telling us that F of X is equal to sin theta minus B. Now, it's important that you register that I'm talking about a sin graph. Because if you look very fast and you look correctly, you will notice that this is a perfect cos graph. Can you see? It's a perfectly cos graph. But they're telling me straight, listen, this is not a cos graph. I want to relate it to a sin graph. Now, if you relate it to a sin graph, you would see, either you would tell me that, listen, it is starting at 90 degrees here. So if you continued, you can say it's starting at minus 90 degrees. So, it would be at minus 90. So, I know my B is going to equal to minus 90. When I substitute it, I'm going to have sin theta minus minus 90 degrees. So, it will give me sin theta plus 90 degrees. And that is the equation of this graph. If you notice if you remember from your reduction. If I had done reduction, then when you do reduction of this, look at what it becomes. It becomes a perfectly cos graph. Okay? If you had seen, just say for example, you seen that, listen, my starting is there. So you're going to tell me, listen, my equation is going to be sin, my b is equal to 90, so my equation is going to be sin theta minus 90 degrees. But now pay attention. If you had started there, do you notice that the graph is going upside down? And if it's going upside down, then it means it's actually minus 1, isn't it? Because they didn't give us a value here, we have to accept it that it is a normal graph. It's not a upside down graph which means you had to start at minus 90. Okay so what you would notice is if you had written minus 1 why because you are now saying that it is going upside down right and then you said b was 90 so it becomes minus 90. So if you look and remembering your reduction if I wanted to make this 90 minus theta, in other words, I'm changing the bracket, then what happens is you have to change the sign 
of the sin. So, it becomes 90 minus theta and this becomes positive. Now, if you do reduction of this, look at what happens. So, you end up at the final place with the same answer. So, it does not matter where you have seen it, but what you need to look for is if they are asking you or if they show you, if they had done this, then they were making reference to this. Because now they are telling you, listen, I want to work with the negative graph. But when they are telling you, they are telling you, listen, it is a positive graph. So, pay attention to the question. Okay, let us look at the final drawing. Now, what you should be interested in is the position of the B. From our previous video, you had learned the position of B is old over new. Now, do not get comfortable with alphabet B. They can put it as A, they can put it as X, they can put it as Y. They can put whatever they want at that specific point. Famous ones are B, P, Q. Those are the alphas they tend to use. Okay? So, do not get comfortable with B. What you should look at is the position of B. Now, if I am looking at the position of B, then the step we are using is the following one, which says, I must take an old point and I must put it over the new point. Now, remember, it does not need to be a po the first point. It does not need to be the last point. It can be anything. But if we take this graph, this is one complete, complete graph. Those are usually the mother graph points. Okay? Now, we know it is upside down, but even on the mother graph, if we had a mother graph and it was going upside down, the x value did not change. Going upside down does not change my x value, it changes my y value. So, we know standardly this turning point is 90 or we know standardly this turning point is 180. Now, if we take an old, let us take this point, 180 over a new, which is 90 then my B is going to equal to 2. Simple, old over new. When I am talking of old, I am referring to the mother graph. Thank you for watching.